Hey WealthLab 7 users, Glitch here. Today we're going to talk about what's new in WealthLab 7 build 27. So let's get started. The first new thing I want to call out is a new extension. It's a third-party extension developed by Splodge on our forum. Thank you Splodge for creating this for the WealthLab 7 community. It is the update manager. So we are here on the wealthlab.com website. And if you click extensions, you can see all of the extensions that WealthLab provides. And when you scroll down, you can also see extensions that are offered by third parties. And here uh, on the bottom right here, we have our update manager by Splodge, otherwise known as ProSuite. So let's click here for details. This extension will run in the background and check for new updates of WealthLab 7 and WealthLab 7 extensions and give you the opportunity to automatically install them. So once again, a big shout out and thanks to Splodge for offering this free third-party extension for, for WealthLab 7 users. All right, so on to what's new in Build 47. First, we're going to talk about something that I missed in Build 46, and that is the ability to link a strategy to an external source code file. So let me open up a new C-sharp coded strategy, and we have a new button here, link the source code to an external file. So when I click that, I can navigate to a file here on my computer. The file has to have a .cs extension. So here in my WL7 local folder, I have this .cs strategy file. If I link to that file, you notice that the source code automatically and immediately updated to the contents of that file. And next, if I open Windows Explorer and I open the same file in an editor, such as Visual Studio or Notepad here for this, this example, let me open this with Notepad. And here I will add a new comment to the file and let's see if we can arrange this such that we'll be able to see the change happen here in uh, WealthLab 7 as well. So let's go ahead and adding a new comment. So when I do a file save, you'll see that the change was picked up in WealthLab 7. So this is a one-way link changing the external file will update the editor in WealthLab 7. However, if you change the code here in the editor, it will not update the external file. So now you can edit a file in Visual Studio and have the changes automatically reflected in WealthLab 7 uh, using Visual Studio's version control and all of the goodies of uh, that editor uh, for free, basically. To unlink, you know, simply click here again and the link will be disconnected. So that is the linking of strategies to an external file from build 46. Next, I'll show a couple of new things we added to markets and symbols. So let's open up the markets and symbols tool here in WealthLab and you'll see for markets, we now have a couple of new columns, security type and currency. So if I double click one of these markets, you can edit the security type of the market uh, from all these different options and edit the default currency. So you notice that all of the international markets now have their default currency specified and the crypto market has a default security type of crypto. The Forex market currencies has a default security type of Forex. So we even applied this to the symbol level. So if you create your own symbols and associate them with markets, you can override that default security type and currency within the symbol. 
So more metadata now in markets and symbols in build 47. Last but not least, let's open up a little strategy here. Let's do my one minute scalper, which I use to trade TQQQ and SQQQ on a one minute scale. So I'm gonna run that. Let's see what my strategy settings are here. I'm running that on one minute data for the most recent five months. And now you see here under profit, normally this would show you the net profit and the net profit percent, but now it's showing APR. So you can now toggle this to show you the profit percent of the backtest run or the APR of that uh, run. So we quickly imp implemented this based on a suggestion on our forum. So thanks for that. And we uh, were able to quickly turn that around. And that is it for build 47. We'll see you soon for build 48. And until then, see you all on the forums.